Welcome to Texas Haunted Channel. God bless each and every one of you. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. Hit that like button and turn the bell icon on to get notified of every upload. So in today's video, we are going to be putting the turbo manifold from Jack Spanier Racing on, if God is willing, getting this installed uh, along with Max Peating Rod's GT3582R Turbo and the downpipe, trying to get it all mocked up and see exactly what we need uh, so we can have a thorough list of the other things that it's missing. So I have the oil feed line, we have the turbo, the manifold, the downpipe, and all of that. But we are still missing the intercooler, intercooler piping, and return line, and a few other things like that, which is not a big deal. We are waiting on shipping from Jack Spania Racing. Uh, the problem is he was hit in Florida with uh, the big hurricane, so eh, everything's a little delayed, which is totally understandable. So uh, in the meantime, we have about a one to two week wait for these parts. Uh, I will not be driving this for the next week or two. I'll be driving the wife's MDX, so not a big deal anyways. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed. We'll get it all mocked up and all of that. Let's see exactly. So as you can see, we have the Skunk 2 Alpha 4 to 1 down there. Now in order to remove that, we will need to remove the oil filter. Uh, that makes it a lot easier to get the Skunk 2 Alpha out. So when you're working with these 4 to 1 headers, keep that in mind. Removing the oil filter gives you a little more wiggle room. Be careful not to break your oil pressure sensor because I actually did that. So I actually need a new oil pressure sensor. But we're gonna go ahead and get the Skunk 2 Alpha header out of there. Then we'll be able to mock up the Jack Spania Racing uh, manifold. And then we're gonna put the turbo in with the downpipe. Uh, I think that's the best way to do it, is have the downpipe attached to the turbo and then kind of wiggle it all through there, get it all bolted up and see exactly what's in the way. I'm thinking we're going to have these fuel line issues uh, where the fuel line is in the way or the coolant lines which are down there. So I could be wrong. I have seen people do this without removing those lines. I will obviously have to wrap or maybe relocate a little bit on the fuel lines but not a big deal. This is why we're kind of test mocking and making sure everything's going to fit. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get you guys in there. I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do please Click that like button, drop a comment below, and here we go. All right, now that we've got the Skunk 2 Alpha 4 to 1 out of here, um, you can see this gasket is just tore up. Uh, it's a good thing we're putting an OEM style gasket in. I do not recommend these. Maybe if it's like a, an emergency, you gotta get your car going, put one of those on, but like, I really don't recommend them. They're really terrible gaskets. I recommend the OEM ones, they're just metal and they work really well. But uh, yeah, now we can go ahead and get the other manifold in. got the turbo manifold on and the max peating rods turbo on and it's looking really good in here the only issue i see is the adapter that goes from four bolt to v-band sticks out a little too far and the downpipe will not fit even though the downpipe's made for this particular kit in this particular setup um, if this had a v-band um, on the exit and i wouldn't have to have this adapter then it would work perfectly fine the other issue is obviously the fuel line is tucked underneath and that's not okay. That's definitely going to have to change. Not a big deal. Um, and then the coolant line that runs to the heater core goes that way. But 
This is a water-cooled turbo, and if I replace this turbo with a Jackspania uh, turbo, then it'll also be water-cooled. So the coolant line will go in one side, out the other, and then I can loop it around. So it should be okay um, with it like that because I can just relocate the coolant lines. Not a big deal because I still want to have my heater. So definitely looks really nice in here for sure. And uh, once we get the rest of the stuff, it'll definitely come along. Well, there you have it. Praise God, it looks amazing under the hood. And we got some vital information out of doing this bolt-on setup just to see exactly where we're at. I will fully bolt it on and stuff like that. Um, as for the turbo, I'm not 100% sure what we're doing. I'm not doing hood exit, so that's out of the question. I'm going to be running full exhaust on this setup. And uh, we just got to figure out a way around all of that, which most likely I will have to take that uh, V-band adapter off, unfortunately, and get this v-band cut off and a four bolt welded on there which is not exactly what i want to do but that's looking like how it's gonna be uh, but we did get vital information we know the fuel line definitely needs tuck like i assumed and the coolant lines as well but that was kind of given uh, just because it's location but it's gonna look really good in here and i cannot wait to see this thing ripping down the street unfortunately i don't have all the stuff yet like the intercooler the piping the oil return the oil feed adapter and a few other things like that. Um, but once we get all that stuff in and get this thing running, then we can uh, definitely go take us some pools down the track, get some dyno footage, all kinds of stuff to do. Um, so I cannot wait for that. So thank you guys for checking in on this video and uh, joining me on this little journey. And we are going to make this thing definitely a really quick vehicle. So I will see you guys in the next video. And if you guys haven't, please check over on More Motorsports Garage I'm doing a 100k subscriber giveaway with that valve cover and some other parts uh, link is in the description go get entered to win before we hit 100k subscribers but that's basically it for this video i will see you guys in the next one and as i like to say god bless stay safe stay awesome